Hello and welcome to a Muscle Owl special episode and we're here in ING head offices in London with Ravi, Ravi Mehta and Manoj Thakra. How are you doing? <laughs> Manoj, do you want to introduce yourself and introduce what this, this yeah, is about? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, my name is Manoj Thakra and uh, I'm working at ING and uh, a couple of years ago my little boy, six-year-old Shiv, was uh, diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and uh, Myself and my wife set up a campaign called Smile with Chiv, um, mm -hmm. and we're working with uh, with national charities like MD UK to try and raise uh, funds for Duchenne research. Um, and being at ING and obviously raising, you know, spreading the awareness of, of Duchenne quite a bit, and being at ING now for nearly twenty years of my life, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to try and uh, to try and bring some corporate partnership into play, which started last year, and uh, 2016 was a fantastic year of fundraising. We did some amazing events within the bank, and as part of that opportunity, we saw a great advantage to link in with the MDUK's Moving Up campaign, and to help young adults to come into the workplace and do some work experience, and fortunately, we've been able to do that with, uh, with Ravi, who started to work at ING uh, earlier this year. And, uh, and he's spending some time with us, which is fantastic, because it's not just about raising funds and raising the awareness, but it's also giving opportunities for young adults to, uh, to be in the working environment and really be part of society. So that's what, that's what today's all about. Yeah, absolutely. And Ravi, do you want to introduce yourself and maybe explain what you've been, what you've been doing, different departments you've been working in whilst yeah. you've been here? Yeah, uh, well, I'm Ravi Mehta, uh, 27, and... Um, as part of the Moving Up project with Muscular Dystrophy UK, I'm working in the ING offices, um, working in various departments such as uh, legal, IT, marketing, and uh, hopefully in corporate communications as well. Um, everyone is really friendly here. It's been really nice getting to know everyone. Accessibility has been great in the building. Um, never been an issue with that. It's like one of the things I'm really happy about and also the work I'll be doing is a great opportunity to find further work from this and you know, hopefully further my career. No, that's wonderful. So obviously a lot of people who have disabilities have trouble getting into the workplace mm -hmm. because of more many different obstacles. Yeah. Uh, have you have you encountered many here? Have have you been working with ING to try and uh, kind of overcome certain hurdles and figure out what works best? how things work best? Well, ING have been really flexible with kind of making sure everything is kind of the way I want it to be. Um, mm -hmm. I've come to the office before I came to work a few times is making sure the desk is in the right height, making sure I can get around fine. So they've really been kind of pushing that forward to making sure that I'm comfortable while I'm working there. I mean, just talking to HR here, they've been really willing to making sure that the working hours kind of suit how it needs to be for me and kind of making sure everything is the way I want it. Mm. And so from an accessibility standpoint, everything's kind of on key, on points. From an adaptability standpoint, do you find, have you found that there are things, certain things that you're better at than others? Uh, certain things that you might struggle with more than others that you know maybe certain yeah. departments that you 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 know you you're more uh, you know apt to working in. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, it's yeah everything's kind of been adapted to the way I need it. So, for example, you know it's very difficult for me to type, mm -hmm. but they've been able to put software for a eye gaze um, device that I have. So they've installed the software for me. Wow. Which is going for a lot of red tape to do that. Yeah. So they kind of really been doing as much as they can mm. to make sure I get everything that I need. So, you know, because I can't type, I suggested that and they've done it straight away. Yeah. You know, I can't m like move physical documents. Yeah. So they made sure that there's a way to work around that. Yeah. So there's kind of no stress while I'm doing my work here, and that's the main thing. And. In terms of working with departments, you know, obviously I've worked with legal and IT and other departments as well. Mm. But I could say probably the IT department is kind of where I've been able to do my most work because everything's to do with social media and that's kind of my experience already. So mm. I feel more comfortable doing that. 
Mm. Yeah, I, I, I find it fascinating and hopefully we, you know, we can see the project working towards uh, finding new ways to, mm. to al allow people with disabilities into the workforce. Yeah. I think uh, from, from, from a standpoint of you know, not being able to type mm. is a huge thing when trying to get a job, yeah. certainly in an office, and, and that's, that's, that's something that you've been able to overcome and mm. still be able to do a job too. Yeah, I mean, I think from my perspective also, it's a learning curve. Uh, it's a learning curve for us as an organisation as well, because, uh, you know, as ING, that we want to be open to allow opportunities for disabled, you know, people with disabilities to come into the organisation. And we're getting some fantastic feedback from Robbie about, you know, maybe some of the changes that we do need to make. We're fortunate we're in a brand new building recently, which has got pretty good provisions. But, you know, it's certainly useful for us as an organisation as well to really learn about some of the things that we can do to, to help that, you know, help um, disabled people to come into the organisation and, and feel comfortable and feel part of, uh, part of the workforce. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a win-win, you know, both ways, I think. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think, um, you know, while I've been here, I do feel like other people who have disabilities can, you know, have the confidence to come to this Carol Bank and mm -hmm. you know get a job here because I don't think many people have been here with disabilities so I feel like I'm kind of the guinea pig. Yeah. So you know, whatever I say maybe this is not right, that's not right. Yeah. That's gonna help whoever else comes into work here. Yeah. I think embracing diversity in such a manner can only be a great thing for a workplace, for any organisation. Uh, and I, I'm fascinated to see how over the coming weeks, months, years, uh, workplaces can adapt to allow people with all types of disabilities to be able to use their skills in spite of the things physically that they might not be able to do. Uh, yeah, and I think the, uh, the, the, the the social network, the social environment is also yeah. a great thing. I mean, Robbie, we, we were fortunate to have Robbie work with us just before Christmas and, mm. uh, and came to the Christmas party, and, uh, and it was fun. It was nice to be involved in that, and a, yeah. lot of, you know, a lot of people came up and introduced themselves to you, and yeah. you know, you're able to meet a lot of different people in the organisation. And, and, and for them, it was nice, I think, as an organisation, it was nice for people to see that you know, this, is, yeah. this is taking place as well. Mm. And, uh, and you know, we, we, we certainly had a few drinks together and enjoyed yeah. ourselves as well. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's, it's good, it's, it's yeah. how it should be, and, yeah. uh, and we're fortunate you know, we can give that kind of opportunity. And, yeah. and that's really where the power, power of, uh, of, of corporate partnerships and things like that do, do play a big part and, and can work. Um, mm -hmm. There's lots of departments that have worked together to make these things possible from internal at ING, uh, smile with shift side of things mm. between Muscle Dystrophy UK, all coming together, talking about it, and really making it happen, so mm. to speak. So it's mm. fantastic. Yeah, I think when we talk about trying to get people with disabilities more involved in society or people that are trying to get more of cohesion in society, when we think about society in general, you know, we spend most of our time in, an, in the office or most of our time doing our jobs. So, I mean, if, 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 you know, if we can ensure people with disabilities can have a place in the workplace, mm. then that's going to, you know, allow for yeah. more cohesion in the workplace, in society overall. Definitely. So just, just as an insight for people maybe wanting to get into work, who, you know, wanting to try the moving up scheme, what's, you know, just to round off, what's your average day like if you come and start and when you come into the office? Uh, well, yeah, obviously, um, yeah, I come in, um, meet all the team, um, just, you know, get settled down, then, you know, the team kind of bring me in on their meetings that they're having in the day. Uh, I get assigned, you know, daily tasks that I can help them with. Um, and obviously, you know, with the team I'm working with now, they're working on a, a new app called Yolt. It's kind of a, like a money management app where you can put all your bank accounts and all together. So it's really good to kind of be part of that and also, you know, trying to bring the accessibility part of the app to you you know, bringing everyone else who has a disability so they can access it as well. So that's the kind of thing I'm pushing more is, you know, the more accessibility side, making sure disabled people with all different conditions can use the app. That's so it's been really great. Also, we're working in the social media side with the Yelp team. So, you know, speaking to customers via Facebook and Twitter. I've also helped with the, um, on the branding side of the app, making sure it kind of you know, compliments everyone across the board, like, um, you know, making sure disabled people are part of it as well. 
So yeah, I've been involved in all aspects of the app, to be honest. And you know, it's been good that they trusted me enough to, you know, mm -hmm. make me part of it as well. Yeah, that's fantastic. It certainly seems like it, you know you're picking up loads of experience, and at the same rate, ING are kind of learning how they can incorporate. Uh, people with disabilities more mm. into the workplace. So that's wonderful. Uh, thanks for joining us for a Muscle Owl special. Uh, just to finish off, Manoj, if Smile with Shiv or ING got any events coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, you know, Smile with Shiv, you know, we're still spreading the word out there. We're trying to raise as much awareness of, uh, of Duchenne and muscular dystrophies as much as we possibly can. We're doing a lot of work both internally at ING and, you know, like, and ourselves and, you know, with other charities and other people out there as well. And it's great. We've got an annual ING quiz night that's coming up in, in March, uh, which, uh, which is uh, organised by the interns here at ING and Ravi's going to be involved and, and try and you know, help out and, and getting that. It's always a great achievement and lots of fun's always had, so looking forward to that and we've got some great other fundraising activities taking place throughout the year, so looking forward to that, upwards and onwards as they say, yeah. so yeah, um, absolutely. absolutely. And obviously check Ravi out uh, online on Twitter. Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. <laughs> and yeah, Ravi's, as you might know, Ravi's trustee of DMD Pathfinders. We get John Hasty on a lot and Mark Chapman and obviously a lot of the other guys. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, check out some of the work that you've been doing with them as well. That's great that I can get this kind of opportunity and obviously not just for me, but for other people who mm -hmm. kind of want to kind of go down this path. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm happy with everything that's happened there and obviously you know, for my own personal thing, you know, to try and get a job out of this, uh, further my career. Mm. You know, that's my main target, so yeah. this is a really helpful me yeah. go in that direction. Yeah, well let's keep monitoring the scheme and seeing how everything goes. Uh, we'll be posting updates throughout the coming weeks and months, and, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get more people doing what Ravi's doing, and, uh, yeah, Hopefully we'll see some real good progress. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Thank you.